Hello, this is Danpro and I am going to do a short tutorial and hopefully uh, show you how you can speed up your rigging a little bit by um, making Blender do all the work for you. So you can see on the screen I've already got the start of an armature set up um, for the spider but I want to show you how you can actually duplicate this work and save a lot of time. Um, I'm not going to go into what I did for this rig, this typical IK um, leg setup. If I grab that. Just typical leg. Anyways, I've already got all the transform locks that I want set and all the parenting is already set up. Um, one thing I want to show you is you can see that this first bone here is named bone. Well, I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to name bones and let uh, Blender do the rest. You can see leg.001. If I copy that and then select the next one and I used uh, control C to copy and control V to paste now I've got leg 002 now I can select the next one and just control paste and it will sequentially uh, number that for me now this one I want to be a little bit more I'm gonna call this control dot IK dot 001 and you'll also notice that I'm intentionally not to um, using dot L here and I'll show you why in a minute. So I've got control IK.001. Alright, let's tab into uh, um, edit mode. I want to select all these bones. Shift D to duplicate. GY to move them up. GX just over just a hair. I'm going to snap my 3D cursor to the head of that bone. And with uh, my pivot point set to 3D cursor, I'm going to rotate that scale it out just a hair. I want to um, straighten this bone out here. I'm going to control C to copy the head position and I'm going to paste it to the tail position. And You see that straightens it out. And now let's look at the naming here. Blender automatically named this. We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 and now we've got control IK01 and control IK02. So let's just do this again. Control D to duplicate. Grab Y axis. Grab X a little bit. Snap my 3D cursor here. And using that as a pivot point, I rotate that up. Scale it out just a little bit. And the same thing for um, straightening out the head and tail. Shift duplicate. Grab Y. Two selected. Oops, I didn't want to give me problems. All right, all right, there we go. Rotate that up. Straighten out that bone. Control copy. Paste. And we're set. Now, if we tab into uh, pose mode, you can see that all of those constraints, all nicely working across all four of those. Um, legs. So that was pretty quick. Next, let's go back to edit mode here. And I'm going to select all these leg bones and I'm going to uh, armature, auto name left and right. Now all, you can see that it appended dot L to every one of those, which is exactly what we want. Now reselect these again. With them all selected, do shift D to duplicate and then I'm gonna, just going to drag them over on the negative side of X here and just drop them wherever it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to turn on X axis mirror. I'm going to go back to armature and I'm going to type flip names. And all of these bones are now type dot R, but they're in the middle of nowhere, you're saying. It's okay. I'm going to reselect these bones and with X axis mirror on, I'm going to type G X. Uh, or G enter, excuse me, and it'll snap them into position. Now I've got a perfectly mirrored um, armature. Now let's tab into, uh, let's just you know, select the mesh, select the armature, control P, automatic weights, and let's go to front view. I selected all those IK targets. Let's just stick them on the ground here, and now I can copy and paste to the mirrored side. All right. All right. There's a few notes I want to 
make and a few points I want to make on this. Um, sometimes everything won't mirror uh, across um, perfectly for one drivers usually don't and also sometimes you'll need to um, go in and especially for um, IKs and IK targets you'll need to adjust pull angles from one side to the next and you probably if you're using IK pull targets you would have had to adjust for each one of these leg positions as well and so if you see anything odd like that just go in and check your constraints um, and maybe invert the axis and then see if that helps or like I said on the IK constraints you'll have to adjust the pull angles but I hope that helps good luck everybody